I will absolutely, can everybody see my screen? Thumbs up. Awesome. I will absolutely open this up for questions at the end as well. So as I'm going through tonight's, I like to think of it as a demo, like a demonstration of kind of what we're doing in social retail rather than a presentation. So as I'm going through this demonstration of what it is we're up to, take some notes, let me know what your questions are, because I want to try to keep this as close to 30 minutes as possible. But I, after we close, I can stay on as long as y'all need me to, to answer any questions and give you clarity or a deeper dive around anything that I cover. So first and foremost, just thank you for being here. My name is Kim McCall. I am a certified health coach, but also a very, very, very passionate entrepreneur. So I, as you go through this demonstration tonight, you'll see how this is kind of where worlds have collided for me. Two of my biggest passions bundled together in one, but thank you so much for taking the time. We value your time. We know you're incredibly busy this time of year. So taking 30 or so minutes out to figure out what it is that we're doing in social retail, I promise, promise this will be an investment of time and not time just spent, okay? So take some notes, let me know what questions you have and I'll stay on. Tell me in the chat out of curiosity, this is the, we age ourselves when we do this, but do you remember when Amazon only sold books? <laughs> Aaron says, no, I do. They launched in 1993 as an online bookstore. Do you remember when you could not order an Uber? I do. You know, do you remember when you couldn't buy something from Facebook or Instagram? Does that, does any, everyone remember that one, right? That's a little closer to home. I'm going to throw another one in here. Do you remember like Blockbuster video, right? Now we stream everything. We're going to talk a lot tonight about disruption. The next big thing in e-commerce is what is called social retail, okay? Just like Amazon is the company that brought e-commerce to the world, Modere is the company that is disrupting that and bringing social retail to the world. So we're excited that y'all get to hear about it. So what is so special and so disruptive about it? It is truly, sincerely disrupting a multitude of industries, as you'll see in a moment, the biggest one, in my opinion, is really e-commerce and what we call social sharing. And you'll see what I'm talking about a little bit deeper in that in just a minute. It's exceptionally duplicatable and quickly scalable, okay? It is the best online business in the world today. The reason is because it's duplic duplicatable and scalable two very, very important things. It's leveraging a couple different converging trends at exactly the right time. And in doing so is creating an entirely new model. Okay, social retail is disrupting, leveraging and converging trends. You have probably seen a couple of these and I would love to hear in the chat, which ones you're kind of most familiar with on online sales in general. And when, sometimes when I think of online sales, that's often B to C, business to consumer. And Amazon is a great example. Affiliate marketing, there are people who are affiliate. You see them, you can tell they're affiliates. They have a landing page that takes you somewhere. Oftentimes they are quote unquote influencers with a big following. Social selling and monetizing social platforms like you're seeing now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, to name a few, and there's sure to be a more attraction marketing, which is my personal favorite friends, wellness, which I'm super passionate about. The gig economy. Just write gig in the chat if you've heard the word gig economy. Just write the word gig in the chat if you've heard of that word, because that is everywhere, guys, now. It's literally the new normal. The gig economy. The gig economy is really multiple streams of income. One a lot of people are familiar with, and that is changing substantially because of social retail, is traditional network marketing or direct sales, as well as digital currency, which a lot, it seems so confusing, but digital currency is everywhere. So social retail, guys, is where every single one of these trends intersects. I, like I said, I'm a passionate entrepreneur. One of the things that matters the most in business is timing. 
it does matter. You know, it's one of the things that matters the most. You know, with uh, real estate, it's what? Location, location, location. Oftentimes with business, it's timing, timing, timing. Are you filling a unique need at the right time? Are you the first market? Are you improving something better? Are you at the beginning of a trend? Social retail launched in 2013. So it's really still in its infancy. And in that short amount of time has gained over 4 million customers already and is really, and it is set to just do that at a much quicker rate, even moving forward, has already done $2 billion in revenue, paid out over a billion dollars in commissions, has a 10 to one customer ratio. That is very important for us to understand. And I'm going to dive into that a little bit more in just a minute, but that matters a lot because what this is not is a consumption model. The consumption model has kind of turned into a bit of a dinosaur <laughs> and has been swept away. It's like, nope, that does not work. What really matters is customers, customers, okay? So we have a leg up on all of that. I want you to know quickly, when I jumped into social retail in July of 2020, I was a top leader in a traditional direct sales company. I have been for 10 years, had an exceptionally successful career there. There were so many things that I loved about the industry. There were also some intrinsic limitations that I saw, okay, with that model. I was blown away by what I saw here. So I did something, what a lot of people thought looked like a big risk, thought was very scary. I took, you know, in a six-figure income stream that had taken me 10 years to build. And I took it to zero because I happened to have had a non-compete. I was at, at the top level of that company. So I wasn't somebody that could start this as a side gig. I couldn't do that. So I had to take my income to zero to have an opportunity to play in social retail. And I will tell you the kind of growth that I've had personally and professionally and financially <laughs> over the last two years has far exceeded all of my expectations to the point that knowing this S curve, guys, I would have thought that I rode this part of the wave right here. I hope you can see my cursor. Can you? Thumbs up. Can you see my cursor, y'all? Okay. I would have thought that we were right here. I would have been like, man, whew, good thing I got in while we were so growing because that was a crazy ride the last two years, right? Social retail, friends, is right about here right now. I rode this part of the curve <laughs> the last two years. So to say I'm excited and passionate that we're about to ride the, the most unique part of this curve together is an understatement. That's why I say I'm willing to stay on till any hours of the night to answer questions because timing matters and we are at unique, unique timing when it comes to social retail and what's happening. I'm going to spend just a minute on this slide and go through some of my others pretty quickly. This is an important one to me. This first one to the left, remember how I opened asking y'all about Amazon and Uber and Blockbuster? There's a big difference between being disruptive and being innovative, okay? When I was in college studying business, we talked a lot about innovation. The only time I heard the word disruptive is if I was talking to another kid in the class, right? <laughs> it wasn't seen as a positive thing. So I want you to think of innovative this way. I mentioned Blockbuster Video earlier. Blockbuster Video was probably disruptive when it started. You could take movies and watch them at home. And then there was a lot of innovation inside of that industry when I was growing up. You went from VHS to DVD. Redbox came along. Do you all remember Redbox? Say Redbox in the chat if you remember Redbox. Redbox was an innovation in that industry. Innovation means it takes that industry and move it, moves it further down the continuum. Disruption puts something on an entirely different playing field. My favorite definition of disruption is this. It, it changes something enough. It moves it laterally. It, it moves it to a totally different playing field to the extent that we can't go back to doing it the old way. So Redbox was an innovation. Netflix was a disruptor. I don't even have cable, guys, but I can watch anything I want because I stream, stream, stream. 
So what I, if, I, if you could take away one thing from this 30 minute talk tonight, it's this. What we're talking about with social retail is disruptive. E-commerce, when Amazon launched e-commerce as a method of distribution in the early 90s, they disrupted retail. They dis Do you know what they did? They changed forever the way people spend money. Feel free to write this one down too if you want, because this is where the rubber meets the road. E-commerce changed forever the way people spend money. Social retail changes forever the way people earn money. Okay? We have world-class company and products, unparalleled, streamlined systems, which you'll see more of in just a moment. Look, the one thing I have on my desk, I have all this decor behind me, but the only thing I have sitting on my desk is a sign that says, simplify. Ginger, I was with you when I bought that, I think. I was with you. So guys, success loves speed and speed loves simplicity. If you're an entrepreneur, tell me in the chat, say entrepreneur, if you're an entrepreneur or big biz, if you have been in business before, success loves speed, speed loves simplicity. If you can make something plug and play and turn key, you have scalability. Side note, the two most important things to a successful entrepreneur are, are scalability and exit strategy. Did y'all know that? Top, top priorities, says Forbes and a lot of different other places, scalability and exit strategy. A business needs to be able to scale and you need an exit strategy. By that, they mean, I don't wanna work my face off for the rest of my life. I look at what we're doing in social retail and I'm like, check, check, right? So when you have something that you can see step one, two, three, put yourself in a position where if you're a busy person that's looking for a side gig or a side hustle, and listen, guys, I do this, plenty of people do this full-time. It doesn't have to be a side hustle. It can be better than full-time. But a lot of people do it, do it part-time. They want to make an extra 500 a month, an extra thousand a month, an extra 2000 a month. Okay. And imagine that those people can easily just wake up in the morning, have a text message with a, a story flow or a post to do. They have a unique code that they can copy and paste and send out straight from their phone and they get paid twice a day. They don't wait till the first of the month or the 15th of the month, they get paid twice a day to connect people to incredible products, okay? We cut you guys, any business could have the most unbelievable compensation model in the world, which by the way, this is, and I could, I have like an entire hour long training on that. So I won't do it tonight. But if anyone wants to deep dive on numbers, I'm your girl. I am your girl. I literally have a custom t-shirt that says I ran some numbers. I love helping people understand how to get exactly what they want <laughs> financially. That is my jam. And I will tell you this, you could have the best compensation model under the sun. If your product is not in high demand, it's not gonna matter. It's not gonna matter. You have to have the best compensation plan under the sun and products that are in the highest demand in the marketplace. So what you're looking at here is an opportunity to offer, you know, a hundred plus and growing. And I do you want to, to say this? I do want to state this. People, people sometimes it's easy. Bodera is a clean living company. Live clean, live lean, non-toxic green, all of those things. And though that's where, that's their heritage. That's where they started. Remember how Amazon started with books, right? Modere started in this clean living space because they know that that is in the highest demand. Their full intention <laughs> is to roll social retail across many industries, just like Amazon. You, they used to sell books, now they sell, sell everything, okay? That's where social retail is headed. I'm gonna give you a quick overview on our company and like some of our, what we call hero products. Asma Isak is our CEO, she's unbelievable. As someone who's an entrepreneur, I always love looking to the top. You know, I think that culture rolls down, vibe rolls down, vibe and energy is important to me as a person. And 
Ozma is just an incredible human. She's an incredible scientist. She's an incredible leader. She's an incredible businesswoman. And what's interesting to me is, is in my past lives, career 1.0 and 2.0, oftentimes my president and CEO had a sales and marketing background. Ozma's background is in research and formulation. So as a holistic health coach and biology major, I will tell you, it changes the game when your CEO has that kind of background and the awards and recognition go on and on. She is revered, you guys, in the, the industry, in the business world as being one of the top, top, top business leaders, not just in the US, but in all of the world. So we're super excited to have her leading the charge. Uh, one of the most popular head turning products, when you look at, you know, having a hundred plus products, sometimes people say, well, where do you start? Well, you start with probably the pain points that most of our networks feel the most. Tell me in the chat, yes or no. Totally honestly, is there anyone in your world that will be interested in chocolate flavored fat burner? Yes or no? Okay, listen, I don't know hardly anyone that isn't interested in chocolate fat burner. And again, as a holistic health coach, what's super impressive to me about this product, because weight management is in, it's incredibly important, incredibly important to health. But too often in this industry, it's the, the focus is the vanity of it. I love how focused this company is on the health of a healthy weight. Okay, so one of the things this product does is promote lean muscle. Not only does it burn fat, but it promotes lean muscle. Improving body composition like that is so incredibly important to so many facets of your life. Also tell me that right now, be honest, if you are at an age where you have already felt some warranties running out, way I like to put it. My twin sister and I, you can see my reading glasses. What, do you know when hear something wild? Like we're 45, like two and a half years ago, we, the warranty ran out on our eyes on the same day. Like on the same, like the same week, we were like, I can't read anymore. It's so wild, but I'm a lifelong runner. And my hips had started to feel that. Okay. I was somebody doing chiropractic three times a week, assisted stretch twice a week. Oh my gosh, such clean eating supplementation, physical therapy, injections, powdered collagen. So I had very, very low expectations, friends, of, of the liquid collagen when I started to take it because I was already taking a powdered collagen and it had done next to nothing. Two tablespoons a day back in July of 2020 of this liquid bio cell, every single joint issue that I was paying literally guys, Sean, my husband and I did the math. I was paying north of $700 a month trying to get relief in my hips because my health and wellness is so important to me. This was the only thing that smashed it. It was incredible. I couldn't even believe it. And I, I, it, in that moment, I was like, I don't even care about the 99 other products. I do. I really do. But I'm telling you the fact that, that there is a product that's this incredible and this bioavailable and this effective at affecting joints and skin and hair and those things that are truly results oriented should not only excite you as just a human but as an entrepreneur it should really get your attention because if something is results oriented then the retention rate is exceptionally high Again, I could do ginger, probably know ginger's like, don't talk about this more than 30 seconds. She knows that I could talk about this for 30 minutes. I am very passionate about foundational health. The two things I just talked about, weight management and anti-aging, those are what I like to call functional or targeted health. Our axis line, this new biology of wellness is integrated support for foundational health, foundational nutrition, cardiovascular, nervous system, digestive, endocrine, skeletal, microbiome. It's unbelievable. So one of the things I love about it is that I can use our access line as the foundation and then build any other targeted solution.
solution on top of that that I want to, whether it's skincare or just detoxing the home. I call it cleaning up your act, <laughs> Get, getting the right laundry detergent and the right dish soap and the right room spray and all of those things. It's just been incredibly fun. So, all right, I'm looking at my timer. I've got about 10 more minutes. This to me is what drives the speed of success in social retail. We have an incredible compensation model. We have an incredible product lineup. And though this entire model was not built for us, the business owner, it was built for the shopper. It was built for the customer. I'm going to say that again. Social retail was built with the, the consumer in mind, the customer in mind which if you're a smart entrepreneur <laughs> should also get your attention because something that rewards the consumer, this is where e-commerce has been flipped on its head. Listen, I'm a big fan of Jeff Bezos, the head haunch at Amazon. Sometimes people are like, who's that? Okay, he's done very well. He's done very well for himself. I'm sure the person who runs Target is doing pretty well too, okay? And I, I shop from Amazon and Target frequently, you know? But friends, what social retail does is it flips the script on this consumerism. And instead of rewarding the big box stores and the Jeff Bezos of the world, it rewards the shopper. It rewards the consumer. It's why it's got this virality to it. It's why it's growing so fast. It's why you see that curve. It's why it's disruptive because it's finally so overdue to, I will say it's long overdue. So very first month as a shopper, people can shop for five to 15% off, depending on how much they have in their cart. They also get discount codes to share out. Code sharing. Now you might be saying lots of people are doing that and you'd be right but you know what people are not doing, what no other company is doing. There's not a lifetime to that. Other companies say, uh, tell me in the chat if you've ever heard of, um, gosh, I'm trying to remember the name. Are they called Rossi's, the shoes? I love them. I've got a couple pairs of them. And my friend sent me a code when she first got her pair. And I got like $10 or so off. She got $10 back. But I've bought plenty of pairs since then. She was rewarded just that once. If you were an influencer with affiliate marketing, and I have, I have a lot of friends who are, if you see something an influencer is doing, you click through, you buy it from them, they get paid like this much one time. And you might fall in love with that brand and shop with them forever. Our customers, when they tell their friends about the collagen, the lean body system, the fabric softer they can't get enough of, right? And our customers have their own link that they can share with their friends and they earn shopping credits, not just once, but on the lifetime of their friend that they shared it with. That's insane, guys. And I want you to soak that in for a minute because this is why it's disruptive. I want you to think for just a minute about if, the I don't know how much you guys shop at Amazon, but whoever told me about Amazon <laughs> back in the day, whoever first set, sent me a link to amazon.com and said, go see whatever, okay? If I was for some reason linked to that person for life and they were getting rewarded in shopping credits or if, they're do, if they have a shopping link, they get rewarded in shopping credits. If they have a retailer link like me, they get paid actual commission. Shopping credits or dollars, do you, I can't, I don't even know how much that person would have made over the last 30 years because they were the one that introduced me to Amazon. So this is mind blowing guys. These customer rewards, loyalty match, being able to get up to 30% off any day, free shipping. But this ongoing reward of customer to customer sharing is unbelievable. I already talked about these two things. Also a $50 anniversary credit. Just because, like, 
I, I, I use Amazon or Target. Imagine Target. I love Target. I was just there tonight. But imagine I walked into Target and they were like, oh, you know what? The first time you walked into Target was, was actually August of however many years ago. Because it's August again. Here's a $50. <laughs> Thank you. You guys, other companies don't do this. This is this is unbelievable. Comp plan highlights, and I've only got a couple more minutes, so I'm going to roll through it. Comp plan highlights, y'all. The most important thing about this to know is that the only path, the only path to really compelling success in a traditional network marketing company is growing a large and engaged team. That is not the case here. There's a bifurcated compensation plan. You can lean into your strengths. Some people really love focusing on helping people get healthy and, you know, matching them with products. Others really love the business and love talking to people about sharing that way. Some people love both. But the fact of the matter is there is a place here for everyone. So you might be wondering, right, can I win, right? What are our people winning? These are for people just even on our team. These numbers here are within their first couple of weeks in the business. They're really after their first couple posts that they didn't even make up that the company sent to them. This is substantial. This is compelling. And you can see many of them are busy in real estate, a skincare professional, a full-time educator. This is phenomenal to be able to do this. You might also be wondering, what can I earn? Guys, this is a big one to me. I love when people talk about kind of the like the side gig, the side hustle. I came from this. A lot of people did. I had a very large team in traditional network marketing. And I can tell you there were not a lot of people making a good amount of money. And if I would have pulled how many were making over 500, it would have been low. How many were making it over a thousand was excruciatingly low. And in, in all honesty, that was the report in looking at that that made me want to look outside of the company that it was in because I thought I had very talented, dedicated team that's been here for 10 years doing the right thing. And hardly anyone is breaking a thousand dollars a month. Like that was just crazy to me. We, we did this as a exercise a couple months ago, company wide, because we were curious if we include everyone who's earned just a dollar in the last 12 months. So in other words, active reps, the average monthly income is $919 a month. Average I mean, I saw that and I was like, success loves speed, speed loves simplicity. That's why all of this matters. In fact, we try our first month to help everyone who links arms with us. We have a mentorship program that's incredible. We walk you through a four-week mentorship program, and then we honestly run as a team together. But the goal is to help everyone earn what's called the Modere experience their first month, which would be a comma in the paycheck and uh, a very fun a very fun gift. And as I alluded to before, these systems, these apps, everything being touch and go, this real results room, I have customers that were products I didn't even know we sold. That's effective. That's an effective business model. People are like, is that embarrassing? Absolutely not. I'm proud of it. That means you've got a great gig going, right? I don't need to be the expert. I can send them a video. I know tons about health and wellness. I am, I go a million miles an hour. I have two school age kids. We're, we're playing sports. We're in travel school. We're all over the place, y'all. I've moved four times in the past four years. I don't have time to explain the benefits of collagen to every person. I copy and paste the video and let the expert do it. I love an opportunity to sit like this and pour into people and go deep. But you guys, most of the time I am copy, paste, copy, paste. And then I leave them a quick message and answer questions. My friends, they, they go to real results room and they look at the results of hundreds of thousands of other people, hundreds of thousands of other people. So this is where it's truly incredible. So we're wrapping up now. Very proud of myself for staying on schedule here because this is a lot to cover and I'm so passionate about all of it that I could be tempted to go a lot deeper on each slide. But this is awesome to me, y'all. Like as somebody who has had brick and mortar businesses, a lot of other kinds of businesses. As an entrepreneur, we look at an XM launch pack. There are um, smaller packs as well. The only actual fee to having a retailer link like I have is 
$40 a month. I'm $40 a year. I'm sorry. It's a, like a technology fee. But the first time you sign up, you do have the opportunity and only that first time, unfortunately, not any time after that to do an XM. It's called Experience Modere Launch Pack. Basically, it's about $500 worth of products for a much lower cost, plus a free ticket to a conference, plus a lot of points, plus some free codes. So it's just a, basically a big value pack. So we love being able to bring people in in this way. And I will say I have a lot of friends who started with just a shopper link. And then they felt they were like, oh, they were sharing their shopper link a ton. And they were earning shopping credits, which is amazing. But then they were like, I mean, could I be making like commission? I'm like, you can. But instead of a shopper link, you need a retailer link. So talk to who invited you about the break even on that. I tend to tell people, if you, if you think you can go out and help about 10 people connect to any of these products, it's worth having a retailer link. If you're someone that's just like, these products look amazing and I want to earn shopping credits, go with a shopper link. But either way, you either way, like it's amazing to get plugged into social retail because remember what I said, we're here. I want all my friends who even just have a shopping link, friends that are on the phone here, <laughs> I make sure all of my friends have at a minimum a shopping link and that they get as many people tied to them as possible. Because remember that Amazon example. So maybe they're ordering collagen and the chocolate flavor fit burner for me, but their friends are ordering skincare. And this friend is ordering their laundry detergent and their hand soap. And this one is ordering shampoo. Doesn't matter. They're forever going to be tied to my friend who sent them her discount link is a shopper. Okay. So at a minimum, I always make sure all my friends have a shop shopping link, but if you're like me and you're passionate about business and you would love to think of it as more like a business and earn commission and not just shopping credits, it's tremendous. You just saw the average income and you're probably not average. So it's definitely worth, definitely worth taking a look at. So I know that was a lot at once. I'm going to stop the recording so that it's that is short enough for people to listen to on the average drive to and from the grocery store. But I'm also going to unmute it and open it up for questions. And again, I am always happy to stay on as long as y'all need. I just want to thank you so, so very much for your time because I more than anybody understand how busy this time of year is and appreciate your being on on a Tuesday night. Thank you. Would you turn the recording?